Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past T-Shop Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for coming back to watch more stuff here on the channel. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is playing a little cold open for a game called Pressure Overdrive. Uh, I have no idea what this is, other than it's a driving game, and it seems to be a misadventure across a fantasy world. And actually, if that's going to be a good enough game... I'm looking forward to it. I mean, if you can get driving mechanics to work down with a combat vehicle mechanic in a fantasy world, you're going to be doing at least better than, say, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. And dude, that is a very, very low fucking bar to pass. So chasing carrots. Delicious! Okay. I'm already charmed. I'm already liking it. That is one big bushy beard. A bushy beard is always a good sign. You know, Give it a wee, just a wee stroke. Oh, you're a good man. Good man with your beard. Okay. Uh, and don't ever do that to me in public. I will fucking murder you. <laughs> don't walk up to people with beards and go like, hey, could you, could you? Because we've all seen the dude on YouTube that does that, or on fucking Vine. And I've met him in real life. I told him, I know who you are. Fuck off or I'll slap you. And he actually like looked at me and was like, ah. Oh. So you do? He was like, yeah. Could you, could you? And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah. And, like, yeah. and he was like, no, nah, don't. Just don't. <laughs> Ended up standing chatting to him for like a minute and a half while smoking a cigarette. It was all good and grand, but I, I actually, in fact, I didn't threaten to hit him. I threatened to burn him with my cigarette. That's actually what I did. I threatened to burn him with my cigarette. Like a stepchild. Right. <laughs> I just realized I'm just meandering in my conversation here. This is like actually going to mean nothing to anybody who doesn't know this partic that particular meme on the internet. Right. Jump in. We'll get into the story mode and we'll see what this is. Uh, campaign and this one. Going into campaign, we're going to jump into profile, we're going to start up. Ah, uh, it's our two. I thought of it for a second there, it was two player. More hints, please. More hints. More hints. Show me all the hints. Show me all the hints. Alright, I, I, I'm assuming that's not helping the game at all. Although I want to see another one of that weird. Ah, oh, ah, damn it, I missed it again. Ooh, that's a try nice, super tasty wellness drink. Delicious! Making sure audio levels are okay. We're good. Okay. Sleepwalking into your giant mechanical vehicle. Wrong pants, Gromit. Jesus Christ, it actually is Gromit. Barf, 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 barf. Oh, Jesus! I didn't realize it was a mechanical dog! Hello! <laughs> okay. I'm just sucking up all your water. Ah, right. So an evil plan to take away the water so make somebody pay for the water. Hmm, topical in this world of clear gold. Or wet gold? Is that what it was? Steal your buggy! Mon dieu! The buggy! It moves! Whee! Okay, so right stick for firing. Left stick and right stick combat. This is awesome. This is basically, I, I'm on board with this. This is a very fast paced version of Contra. No, not Contra. What was it? What was the, what was the top down one? Ikari Warriors. Fucking Ikari Warriors. Hey. Got him! Hey! <laughs> Got him! So shoot him from behind? I will sell you 
Munitions! Now you have a boost. Press the indicated button to activate it. No! I was meant to go over that. <laughs> I like that. I like that you can just boost them out of the way. Unstoppable! That's what you are. Unstoppable. Though near or far. Completely unstoppable. That's what you are. Thinking of Watchmen. <laughs> Die, you bastards! C'est bon! Zutalo! Blew him at the last minute? Good cover. Right, so continuing on. This is basically what the game play is. It's a pff, driving shooting game. Left stick movement, right stick movement, uh, linear path with uh, obviously upgrades and things to do. Uh, let's get ourselves boosted up with a weapon here. Damage I put. Mm, I want to blow things up. So why? Oh, All right. Not enough gold. How much gold do I need? I only have 150. Nothing is valuable enough for me to get. Bistro? What's in the bistro? Okay. Um, and map. Hey! So, uh, we're going to do another level of this. Uh, I've, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. This is actually pretty damn cool. Um, I am on board with this game. Destroy all the things. Destroy all the things. Do it with your bullets or with your car. <laughs> that was worth it. It is kind of hard to aim with two things moving at the same time, but you kind of get your eye for it after a while. Get all the monies! I literally have no idea how much health I have or how well I'm surviving here or whether or not I'm dead in a minute, but I'm having fun. And the whole point important thing of playing video games is having some fun, isn't it? Die, motherfuckers! Um, yes, fun. You know, like clean, wholesome, you know, shooting your friends in the face, fun. This isn't actually too bad. I'm a. It's one of those things, you know, I've been seeing a lot of indie games popping up on the PlayStation, and for what they're worth, some of them actually are quite derivative older game styles, and there's nothing wrong with that because we all need some great, fast, actually fun gameplay. In this case, I want a missile here because I'm essentially at the point now where I'm not doing enough damage with this gun. Um, going harkening back to a game like this, um, it's just a top-down shooter, and in this case, it literally is. You're not re you're being able to move up and down in the screen, but you really are essentially playing Ikaraga or fucking I don't know. Uh, uh, trying to think of other ones that are actually off the top of my head. Jesus, it's so hard. Like 1942 and. Uh, other games of its ilk. I, I don't know why I'm actually drawing a complete and utter blank. But I fucking love Arrowwing and a bunch of other games. Gunbird. They, I just love those series. Oh, rapid fire. It's sweet. So I can actually hit faster if I can hit the damn things. Ugh. 
Okay, come on, die. Time for you to die. Die. There you go. I'll run out. Oh, I didn't even realize. I launched myself in the corner. Whoops, did I crash the game? No, I didn't. It's all good and grand. So yeah, that wasn't too bad. Uh, gold gained, another 161 out of a possible 195. That's not too bad at all. So yeah, I hate the fact that ding is being used for the menu though, because that, that's making me think it's my phone that's going off this entire time. Um, yeah. So, do we get, can we afford an upgrade? Did we get enough? For, we got enough for one upgrade. Um, no, we didn't have enough for an upgrade. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, we can afford these. There we go. These are the rockets. These are the side things. Yeah. Uh, damage per second. Down. <clears throat> charge. Oh, didn't know you could do a charge attack. Uh, yeah. Which helps to make your mission easier by m with multiple pellets per shot. Oh, is that a spread shot one? Nice. At least lightning bolts that you're tired deal additional damage when you hit an enemy more than once. And the bleedy blade. Weapon shoots razor blades that bounce off walls in your situation. If your situation gets too hairy. Mm. I think I actually like this one the most. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the bleedy blades. We're, I'm gonna play one more mission. Let's, where, what time are we at actually on the run time on this? 11 minutes? Yeah. We got time for one more. We got time for one more, don't we? Yeah, we, we can do one more. The missions are actually pretty fast in this. That's one of the things that actually sell, that sells me on this as well, is that it doesn't really say it's welcome. Uh, there was one I played, a Blue Bomber, I think it was called, a good few months back, and its levels were too long. Oh no, it replaces your shot? Why? I needed more shots, not a replacement shot. Yeah, <laughs> it makes more sense. Whenever you get into tighter spaces, this weapon is very effective. The bigger spaces, it's really hard to actually aim and hit enemies. Oh, done. <laughs> yeah, the levels are don't feel too overly forced for their length. They literally it feels like the whole point is that you memorize uh level pattern or level ship and you know when enemies are going to be passing by so it, it, this is actually a this is almost like a repetition score battling kind of game rather than actually being a survival game hey at least the, i was glad i was hoping that there actually would change the layout of the kind of levels as well so we're getting into caverns and stuff now we'll have a nice cave at some point we'll have a giant world we'll have a small world we'll have a you know like a hostels world it'll be it'll be it'll be interesting you know like the standard the standard old game designs you just put a different level world every once in a while I am talking part of my arse now. Mostly because I'm trying to focus on killing these motherfuckers! Right, I do like the fact that these are cut through bullets. Which makes it a little bit easier to actually, um... Just let them roll and shoot and destroy everything as they go by. Oh, oh, oh. Bashing through at the speed of knuckles. What the fuck is going on? Essentially, like having a star in Mario, that's what this feels like. <laughs> Da -da 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 -da. Oi, ramped it. <laughs> Hit all the ramps. Hey, 
Hey, I think I got everything at the last second. <laughs> so yeah, the weapons do make a fair amount of difference to your tactics in combat, but um, I wasn't uh, <laughs> I wasn't particularly pleased with that one because I didn't like didn't like the fact that I bought it and then immediately kind of like went I regret buying this and I have no idea how I'm going to make it through the end of the level because otherwise you have to spend the money to change back, which is a bit fucked. No, you can oh you can equip back if you have it. All right, that's okay then. That's not too bad. That's not uh, blatantly offensive, essentially. Right, so that's us done and dusted, checking out Pressure Overdrive. Um, yeah, this has been kind of fun. I've actually enjoyed I've enjoyed this game. Uh, Pressure Overdrive is available on the PlayStation Network. You can check it out for yourselves. It's also available on PC. Uh, you can actually go and give it a play at your own leisure. If you enjoyed watching me play through this game and you would like to know more or you would like to see more games of its ilk, to say it in the comments below. Tell me more about it. And if you want to actually see more stuff here on the channel made by me, you actually like my, my interpretation of what's going on in the game, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. That's sitting right up there. Or if you don't do the subscribe thing, completely understand, not everybody does, make sure to actually memorize the name, pass of skin. If you know the name, you can easily Google for it. If you Google for it, you can find me. So I'm not trying to hide. I'm very easy to find. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube whenever it's rebroadcast, then go, there you go. There will be a button up there. There will be a playlist right here. There will be a most recent video in the far corner there. And right here, right here in this box, right here, is going to be a video for you based on your user analytics, the things you do on YouTube, the things you watch, and everything you enjoy. It'll pick a movie out of all the stuff that I've done on my channel, and it'll play it right here for you to check out. And if you actually want to check me out on stream, you can always catch me on Twitch, on Mixer, and on YouTube on a regular basis. You can always see my streams whenever they're live. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you guys in the next video. Bye!